The year was 2022, and our teacher just announced we were going to learn 3D modeling, and I was through the roof. You see, all my favorite YouTubers had this magical ability known as CAD, probably meaning cool as duck, and I wanted to learn everything about it. Then I actually listened to what our teacher was saying. We were not gonna design dangerous rockets, complex airframes, or jet engines. It was a house. Everyone was going to design a house each and then have a little competition at the end. That's all fair, I guess, but I had different plans. I installed Chrome Remote Desktop and Fusion 360 on my home computer. Thought through all the blocks on my Chromebook, I don't know how, but I got Remote Desktop installed. So through horrible delay in resolution, my Chromebook now had Fusion 360 running. A year prior, in early 2021, I made something that could only be described as a drifting piece of cardboard. I got it a broken RC helicopter and used the motors from the main rotors for propulsion and steering. Surprisingly, it worked great. I decided to build up on that idea. Make it out of plastic and add a lift fan somewhere. It would be a 3D printed RC hovercraft. In a competition with houses. And I did not ask my teacher for permission. I jumped into Fusion 360 and started designing immediately. Then I realized I had neither plan or measurements, so I decided to build a prototype first. First step was to get the electronics working. This obviously needed soldering, so I bought a soldering iron and it immediately started smoking. Apparently that was completely normal. Uh, it took me a while to get this done and well, it was not pretty, but it did work. Sadly, I have no footage of me actually building the frame, but it was just carbon and hot glue. The hovercraft skirt was made from some plastic bag. And just like that, hovercraft. But would it work? Turns out this thing worked way better than I'd ever hoped. Maneuverability was surprisingly good and responsive. I was also really surprised by the effectiveness of the lift fan. Here the throttle is set to about 20%. When I spool up the lift fan, same throttle setting, it just glides away. All that speed is just caused by that decrease in friction. Also, it's kind of fast. With this newfound confidence, it was once again time for CAD. At first, all students had to fit their house into the 6 by 6 cm square, which is really damn small for building a hovercraft with 3 motors, propellers and electronics. But I didn't have much of a choice, so I designed something that could be printed into different pieces and kind of puzzled into that little square. But then our teacher dropped this rule, so I designed a bigger one. First attempt was a failed print, but it gave me an opportunity to test with the parts, and all my measurements seemed to be pretty okay. At this point I also thought it would be fun to add FPV, so I made this FPV camera holder. Second print did not fail, but I realized I forgot to add tolerances, so there were lots and lots of sanding to do. But that was only the beginning of my problems, I still needed to add electronics. Okay, welcome back everybody. A lot of things have gone really wrong in just the one or two minutes I've been doing all this stuff. Problem after problem after problem. I managed to destroy this motor too, so time to get the third one. What the f- I'm not gonna lie, this was really painful. After seven hours in my garage, neck pain and depression, I finally had a working hovercraft. Not only working, but looking pretty cool. There was just a slight problem. Yep, that's full throttle. I guess I got so carried away by all the cat I completely forgot about the weight. Shit was heavy as a brick and couldn't even move. Safe to say I did not win the SketchUp house competition. It wasn't until I started Swedish high school in the fall of 2022 I decided to pick up this mess of a project again. I started from scratch and made this new design out of thin plastic parts that would be glued together into the frame. I of course forgot tolerances once again, but that's nothing a knife can fix. Assembly was actually pretty smooth and I added the electronics. I made a fan duct out of paper and finally a new skirt. I even got the FPV system working and could drive it around my room. Everything was perfect. All I had to do was not to touch anything. I don't remember why this happened, this was two years ago, but I can't tell you what happened. For some reason I changed one decimal infusion and decided to swap the entire top plate. 
ripping out all the electronics and then I couldn't get the motor back in. Sandpaper, knife, calipers, I broke the connection to the front motor, soldering, reassemble frame, install electronics, get camera working, camera behaves weirdly, camera dies, soldering, do a shit job, more soldering, I fried the camera. That was my last attempt. Um, this will now be a non FPV thing. At least the hovercraft's still fine. No, I broke the front motor again. Finally, let's add some googly eyes. Honestly, I'm really happy with how this one turned out. Sure, got some issues, but overall I'm happy, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>